So I'll tell you things about the class and why I would start off recommend taking the class. I don't care if you are a big professional. I don't care if you are someone that people think know everything. Like I'm very knowledgeable and I do research a lot, but let me tell you something about me. Transparently, I'll say I am the person that if I don't know a lot about something or I'm doing something new and I'm learning different things, if I get intimidated by it or I feel like, uh, I don't know what to look at next, I'll either step back from it, step away from it, or completely procrastinate about it, or I don't like to go into, like to, what's the word, like how a water analogy, like how people will start to kind of tiptoe into the deep end. I don't want to get out there that far. So like I said, my channel started I mean, off and also in the sense that if you watched my channel before you know this if not you knew i'll tell you i am a college educated professional i work in new orleans i work for different companies i've worked for the federal government i have four college degrees two advanced degrees and two undergraduate degrees so that's the context of me but let me tell you why i still would recommend peaches class why i learned from peaches class and why i like peach in general It's Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. Here on my channel, I like to call my subscribers my Fix It Friends. So I usually start off with that greeting, but I figure this um, video may get views by a lot of folks that are not my friends, or at least are not my friends yet. So I wanted to start off and let you know a little bit more about me and my channel. I have been on YouTube since 2015 or 16 maybe. Initially, I was on YouTube as a product reviewer. I really only posted videos because I was doing product reviews for Amazon and other companies, and some of the other companies would ask me to post videos on YouTube and different sites. So that was what got me onto YouTube initially. During the pandemic, I started watching, well, I've always watched YouTube um, shows and things. I'm one of those people that has a YouTube premium membership, so I'm able to watch things without commercials and I think somewhere during um, the pandemic whether it was 2019 or 2020 no it was last year so it was like 2021 I stumbled upon peach probably because 2021 is also the year that I had a pregnancy loss there was a fetal anomaly that was going on with my child that I was pregnant with at the time and I'm sure because I was on YouTube looking for different videos about different fetal anomalies about um, different conditions trying to see what was going on that's how peach came up in my recommendations because at that time peach had um, was pregnant with baby baby and um, had learned about the corp what is it corpus callosum and all that so that's how i stumbled upon watching peach and i feel like now i am a member of the peach patch so i'll put that out there you may think of this as a biased review i think it's not and i'm gonna tell you why also another thing that stood out to me about peach other than the initial connection of the baby is i think in that video she was saying she was sitting by the water so i'm in new orleans right now sitting out here at lake potter train i usually come out here and look at the boats that are going by and then over here to the left is the lighthouse oh, somewhere over here yeah it's a lighthouse out here somewhere um and i love doing that i just love coming and sitting at the lake by the peaceful, peaceful for, me. for me and i remember i think i was watching a video and peach said that so you know sometimes we come on youtube and we get connected to people that she don't know me in real life peach if you do see this i hope you hear um my heart because she really spoke to me and i say this also in the sense that if you watch my channel before you know this if not you knew i'll tell you i am a college educated professional i work in new orleans i work for different companies i work for the federal government i have four college degrees two advanced degrees and two undergraduate degrees so that's the context of me but let me tell you why i still would recommend peaches class why i learned from peaches class and why i like peach in general um like i said the connection that i had in watching her channel and really things that were innate to me like sitting by the water being peace just getting peace from being by the water i am that kind of person that when i'm going through something especially now that i live in new orleans and i'm right at the water i'll come sit and park and just have a moment say my prayers and then i get it back together and do what i gotta do um but it was also the thought of i've told some of my fix it friends before 
people look at me and they see the pearls and they hear the enunciation and they hear the proper speech and diction and all that and they just think that I am like prim and pristine and I'm just like the perfect little girl uh-uh y'all there's more thug thizzle gangster grizzle to this woman than just comes across in the general mystique or form of what you see before you and peach to me also knowing she was in florida in my mind i had always said before that i was like destined to be in new orleans because i was like cast me young money like that was always my thing even back in the day like hot boys um but other than that like people that know me know me know i love me some plaids and i love me some city girls and i love some who my other people oh trina and them why am i forgetting hold on Slip and Slide Records, I think that's what I'm thinking of. Slip and Slide Records, Trina. Again, my baby sister's name is Trina, so I love Trina anyway. Um, Plies. Who else was it? People don't be knowing Jacket Edge. Well, Slip and Slide Records is Slip and Slide Records. It's in Florida. Um, and my, my boo, that would have been my boo in my mind in real life, Ricky Rose. It's a long love affair there in my mind. Um, but again, people just don't get that part of me that, yeah, I have grown up and I was a debutante and I did all these things and I kind of went on a certain path but a story for another day is I tell some of my close friends now I grew up in the books but I was around the bricks and if you know what you know about that leave that there so I loved watching Peach initially after seeing the first video because she was relatable because she was personable I didn't even realize how her following was or had gotten big or anything like that and I loved that she was so encouraging the uplifting words like that was for me especially at a time when i needed that so i'll tell you things about the class and why i would start off recommend taking the class i don't care if you are a big professional i don't care if you are someone that people think know everything like i'm very knowledgeable and i do research a lot but let me tell you something about me transparently i'll say i am the person that if i don't know a lot about something or i'm doing something new and i'm learning different things if i get intimidated by it or i feel like uh i don't know what to look at next i'll either step back from it step away from it or completely procrastinate about it or i don't like to go into like to what's the word like how a water analogy like how people will start to kind of tiptoe into the deep end I don't want to get out there that far so like I said my channel started off and I was just doing product reviews I never thought about vlogging I never thought about sharing more about my life and gardening and family stuff so when I started doing some different videos before I ever heard of peach I started sharing my arrow garden stuff but let me tell you in the time that I have watched peach and really been encouraged by her channel because peach has been encouraging folks to do um vlogs and videos and be a content creator for forever i had never done that one thing i also learned from peach's channel seeing her go out to the casino i had never i did not know how to sit down at the machine and place a bet or do the buttons or anything like that i went on my first cruise well i've been on several cruises but when cruising started back after covid i went on my first cruise and i said i'm gonna try the casino i'm gonna see what it's like because at least and i was looking for the fat pig I didn't like the fat pig on carnival anyway but all of this is context and background I'm very big on context to let you know why I would recommend the class because not only is peach real and relatable she's sharing information she doesn't have to share like yeah folks want to get out here and do whatever and I saw somebody make their critique and let me tell you this to say that oh she's not telling you anything you couldn't find out yourself duh I mean it's YouTube we know it's public but like I said some of us have analysis paralysis we don't know what to look at we don't know how to approach it and it seems so daunting and monumental of a task to be like oh i'm gonna get a, be a content creator and put out content and get followers and like i said i wasn't trying to do that in this so i said let me just step back but as my younger sister told me there's something like I, she's like you know things and you're trying to be helpful and you're trying to help people record put that out there and so often there are many of us whatever your niche is or niche whatever it is you have a thing that's your thing that you can share with other people and when you get somebody like peach who is willing to share her information another point that i wanted to raise is there are a lot of people out here who get paid 
whatever rate they set for what they want to do. I've given my background. I've worked as a consultant since 2010, 2011. I worked as a policy analyst before that. When one of my youth in my uh, mentoring program that I was coordinating asked me what I did, I said, I read and I write and I tell people what I think and they pay me for it. And why am I saying that? Because these critiques of folks saying that it's a sham and it's a this and it's a that. That's one thing. There are some parts I can't say I know her business practices. I can't say I know her background. I know if people be wanting refunds and this and that. I can't attest to that. But as far as anyone having a class or something that they want to train and charging their rate for it, you got to pay to play. When people have information that you want to know and that you want to receive, whatever cost they set for themselves, if you want to get that information, you got to pay it. Now, I'll be real, real. I did this class this time because she was doing the birthday special. I know her regular rate or her one-on-one -on -one rate is not something as far as my small vlog and my small YouTube that's realistic for me to try to take on as an expense. But I did the class and I'll tell you, there were some things that were so simple, like how to do some other editing. Now I have an editing software that I use that I like. She shared the one that she liked. I tried it out. There were things about it that I liked. There were things about it that I was like, uh, I like this other one better. But even with that, I saw from watching other folks YouTube, the software that they use. And I said, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pick it up. I appreciate one, the willingness to share the information because let's be clear about this, even to pay, even before this, when Peach was doing free videos on YouTube and free things that she was sharing, she don't have to do that. Like she's out there, she's made her channel, she's built up her channel, that is what it is. She don't have to tell us nothing. She don't have to help us even for payment. So one, to respect that. Two, I liked that she walked us through each of the different kind of things. Literally, when it says Facebook, TikTok, um, and YouTube, she's gonna walk you through them. She's gonna literally pull up the thing, show you what she does, show you how she does it, show you some of the levels of analysis that she used to be like, yeah, okay, this, and then, and this, and you might wanna look at this, and then that helps you put different elements on your channel. She showed me some aspects about editing pictures that I either didn't know how to do, knew it was an option to do it, but I always kinda looked at it like, uh, am I gonna do this? Uh, I don't know, I did it like, uh. Let me just put the picture on there. I don't know how to do a green screen in the background and all that. So now I feel like that's something that I can do. And so it's a benefit of watching, seeing somebody else do it and just learning. I'm a visual learner. I am also a note taker. And she tells you several times during the class, take notes, take notes. So I did that. And three, I think most importantly is, again, the encouragement that came even from the class. Because she'll ask you during the class, y'all feel like y'all can do this now? Y'all feel like y'all okay? And you'll see one other people in questions. I'm a big person too of hearing other people and seeing like their thoughts. Because some of the questions other people asked, even though it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one, helped me, helped me and how I think about my channel, helped me and how I think about myself. I consider myself now a content creator. Before I was just like, uh, I just post on YouTube when I gotta post on YouTube, it ain't no thing. And I've seen in the time that I've been more intentional about that, that's outside of the class, but my channel has grown. So I say, if you're on the edge about it, like I think the next class, so it's April the 28th today, uh, for my Fix It friends, I guess this will be my Thursday thought for this week. But if um, you have the time and ability, I think her last class is May 1st, and that's gonna be another $33 class. She's still doing her $33 birthday special. Check it out. If you have questions about YouTube, if you've been intimidated by YouTube, I still, I got a TikTok. I ain't tickety talked, I ain't tick nor talked. But even seeing how there's ways to edit different videos, there's ways to pull your videos from your other sites, things that I knew conceptually, but now I know like, okay, this is where you go to do that. This is where you go to click these buttons and click it and click and download it. And you don't have to recreate the same video. You can just move it to another page and that's that. Time saving information is what I got from that class access and exposure to okay this is somebody who's doing it who's telling us we can do it but she's showing us y'all this is like this ain't everything that i do but this is the basic building blocks you have and it's like that thing when somebody gives you fish and they teach you how to fish when somebody teaches you how to fish then you can feed yourself for a lifetime is that the saying how it goes she's teaching you how to fish in this class what you do with it after that is on you. You might change up what you work. Now, I'm a fisherman, so I'm going to go on another analogy. She might say to use worms. You might decide you like artificial bait. 
do you make it your own thing but i know for me especially when i got started fishing more and fishing again as an adult without my daddy there to put the bait on the stick for me like it was helpful to have somebody talk to me as if i could do it as it was simple walk me through it let me go and then it's for you to do the victory lap like the way I feel after this class is like, you know what? Like I said, I'm a content creator. I can do this. What's the next vlogging challenge? I'm going to do it. I, even since the class, one thing I know for sure I have done differently, I share more reels now or little posts or shorts on YouTube. I ain't sharing no reels on Facebook yet. I ain't there yet. But I have been sharing shorts on YouTube. And it's simple. Like just the thought of, hey, it ain't got to be perfect. It ain't got to be polished. You ain't got to have no prim and pristine house set up. Be real and be relatable. And your subscribers are going to find you. So that's my tip. And my Thursday thought for today is if you've been thinking about doing the class with Peach, um, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, or Facebook. No, it's Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. I think that's the current class do it it's worthwhile check it out now when you come out of that feeling like if you like y'all is she even talking you through like how to basically start and get you the a email address to start these accounts like she ain't had to do that there are some things that yes should have been very basic if you call yourself wanting to be a content creator but not everybody knows not everybody knows to take what step and do so if you don't and you've been intimidated by it you've been fearful of doing it you've been wanting to do it but talking yourself out of it this class will put some fire into you this class will give you a lot of the tools that you need to build whatever it is that you want to build for your brand um and i'll wrap myself up on that as always this is fix it with fran where i talk about all things faith family food and fun on my channel i always tell folks that i truly believe that god has given us all gifts and talents that can fix some problem that exists in the world and while there are a lot of problems and while we may not be able to fix everything i want to remind and encourage you let you know if you're here for the first time that we can all fix something so till next time i pray you would find that thing and fix it Thanks for watching. Have you taken Peach's class? Let me know in the comments down below. If y'all come on here being some haters, I will block and I will delete. And that's another thing that I took away from Peach after this. She's like, why not be a content creator? Why not post? People ain't gonna like it if they ain't like it. You've been posting for free all these years and not getting nothing for it. And if people want to hate, they hate you anyway. So they're gonna hate you if you're on YouTube. They're gonna hate you if you're on Facebook. But at least on YouTube, they have to pay or play to watch and they help you watch hours in your views. That little part on the end is mine. Like, I'm going to give myself some watch hours. But if other people want to be nosy and see what's going on in my business, they're going to have to watch this YouTube to find out. So, see y'all next time. Bye.